when does when do you look at something as a punishment or a blessing from Allah? Well, it's how you react to it. Mm. So if you react to it by getting better, it's a blessing. If you react to it just by staying neutral, then it's a, for, a removal of sins. And if you react to it by getting worse, then it's a pun. Then it was a punishment. So in fact, even this, Allah gives us the choice. We have free will in this world. By Allah's permission, we have free will. By His will, we have free will. Okay, and so. Uh, even when something happens, we don't have to guess, is this a punishment, is this a blessing? We have the choice to make it a blessing or a punishment. And sometimes it runs the gamut, mm. right? I always tell our, our Shabab here, there was a one youth here in his 18, 19 years old, he lost his eyes. He began, his re first reaction was anger. Mm. Then he became patient, and then he started to actually get better. So it was everything for him. He ran the gamut. So we, we really have a choice. And when something bad happens, we have to look at how we are willingly, willfully reacting to it. And we should worry. Okay? We should worry if we're going down in Dean. And if we're going up in Dean, then we should be happy. So this thing is good for us. And you see, you see people all the time uh, showing up in the masjid because you oh, lost a job and need to make dua for a job. So your loss of a job brought you into the masjid. So that means you're good. You just needed the job loss to bring that goodness out of you, right? And now Allah then says, then we then test him again with success. Then success is another test, which is harder than loss. Because the one who has nothing... He has nothing to sin with, right? It's easier to deal with. But when you have a lot of wealth and success, your test is even harder because the world is at your fingertips and you could permanently damage yourself, right? So if you don't pass the test of poverty, you can't pass the test of wealth. 